Hello YouTube. So in today's video, I am going to show you how to set up the AI perception component in C++ and how to make it so that the perception component can look at any bone instead of always tracing to the center of mass. For this project, we will need these two C++ classes. Let us first set up the AI perception component. To do that, first create the AI controller class and wait for Visual Studio to load up. Let us start by including the AI perception component.h file. Make sure not to put any includes below the .generated.h file. Then in the protected section, define these two things. The AI perception component is just a component that we define here and then create in the constructor. Let's define a public section. Then in the public section, add the constructor a reference to the bot for this AI controller the on perception function which is called when the perception component updates the AI site config for the site sense and the on possess function now we need to create the character class once the class is created include these two header files in the .cpp file of our AI controller. In the begin play function, I cast the controlled pawn to character base and save a reference to the bot. In the constructor, I create the AI perception component, set parameters for the site config and register the site sense to our perception component. In the on possess function, I bind on perception to be called when the perception updates. In the onPerception function, I check if the target is visible and set focus. Now, let's open up the character class we created earlier. Here, add a bool to check whether the bot should attack and a function to set the animation state. The actual animation logic will be handled inside the animation blueprint. Make sure that the set anim state function is a public function because we are calling this function from our AI controller class inside the on perception function. Our AI perception component is now set up correctly. Build the solution and open up the Unreal editor. Now, let's create the Blueprint Child classes. Open up the Player Blueprint and create the camera and movement inputs. Note that both the Player and the Enemy Blueprints are child classes of our custom C++ character. The controller base underscore BP is a child class of our custom C++ AI controller. Now, open up the enemy blueprint and set the AI controller class to controller base underscore BP. Also override the set NM state function we created in C++. Now let's set up the animation blueprints for both the enemy and the player. All the assets are from Mixamo so you can download them for free if you want to follow along. Since this is just a demo and animations are not the focus of this tutorial, the animation setup is very basic. Just set it up as shown here.
Let's play and test if our perception system is working. As you can see, our AI perception component is working, however, there is still a problem. As you can see here, the bot can see the player and is in combat, but notice what happens when I bring the wall mesh between the player and the bot. From the bot's perspective, it looks even more stupid because the player is right in front and staring at the bot and even then, it can't detect the player. So why is this happening? This is a consequence of how the sight sense is configured out of the box. By default, it always traces to the center of mass, which would be around the chest area of our player. And indeed the chest area which is the sight target is behind the wall and cannot be seen. So, it is working correctly, we just need to tell it to look at other site targets. To create custom view targets, open up the C++ character class and include the AI site target interface.h file. Now add the IAI site target interface as shown here. Can be seen from function as from the interface we just added to our character. This is the function that is going to tell our AI site sense where to look. The target bone is our AI's new site target and it is set to the head bone. Feel free to set it to any bone you want. These were added for testing and showing an example where the site target was being changed at runtime. Now move over to the CPP file and implement these functions as shown here. Build the solution and open up the editor. We are almost done. We just need a way to change the view target with a button press. Open up the player blueprint and set it up as shown. The next view target is a blueprint callable function we created in our character base class earlier. So, every time I press X, the bone name at the next index in the view targets array is set as the view target. These bone names are from the actual skeleton of our character. Note that the names have to be exact for it to work as intended. Let's play and see if it's working. I am pressing X to change the view targets. Mission accomplished. Our AI is now just a bit less dumb. Like this video and write a comment if you want to see how to set up detection by affiliation with the AI perception component.